so boom i'm back only one day ones so last night i was vibing and i just thought about a funny ass story and i'm like probably have a story for the head i don't even be getting on here and telling them but i thought about some shit i'm like i'm gonna tell y'all about it today okay so boom this is stripper story time now mind you i don't even be dancing like that no more but i um i have funny stories from when i was and i don't be dancing like that no more because the club energy just off the money being off um the day and age that it is now it either like you kind of struggling or you just got it the in between is trying to figure it the fuck out so you know um if i was in like a big club which i've been trying to get into but i haven't really been having no luck like in atlanta the big clubs either you got to be a super like thick bbl girly or you have to be a super whitewashed girl next door to get into the white clubs and the urban clubs they want you to be a thick bbl girly or you selling punani so the in-between clubs is cool it's cool but the energy in there just i just ain't been feeling it so the only way that i really will go back to dancing is if i get into a bigger club now i will still continue pole dancing like videos shows i'm gonna start my videos back up when i get situated but as far as being in the club mm, at least it's like an event or some shit but anyways okay story time so let me tell y'all so the story time today is don't over drink do not over drink do not get drunk do not get past like cute once you get past cute it's giving like you don't even know if you're really gonna make it because <laughs> you just could like you're walking around in these tall ass heels you dancing you going around on pose you're bending over like something can happen if you just a little bit past cute when you be drinking in the club now i drink in the club because you know i'm not really like a real promiscuous girl so i be having to come out my comfort zone when i do dance in the club and i just drink to get me you know out my out my shell but not too much but this day i was real cute and i don't even know why it was real i was past cute i wasn't drunk but i was like litty okay so let me tell y'all i had danced on sunday now mind you at the club that i was dancing at i don't like the sundays because the dj who dj on the sunday he a real asshole because he dj at multiple clubs in atlanta and he light skin you already know how light skin me and be real sassy like and he just he was just an asshole so basically he only had a fuck with who he fuck with and if you pay him money like fuck with you he'll fuck with you or if you was you know him then he was fucking with you or um if you just kind of one of the ogs in the club and the owner and everybody fuck with you then he was like okay i'm gonna fuck with her because everybody else do so anyways but you know i didn't really dance uh sundays like that but when i did he was always a fucking asshole like anyways so i think this was my last time coming on sunday so y'all um i'm in the club dancing and on the stage y'all i'm on the stage okay boom on the stage and i'm litty i'm litty stands on the stage so i pull out the little around come up let's come up to the straddle and hands in the handstand y'all my ass like i'm kind of dizzy so i get to, like walking and like i don't know why my brain because that's why you don't drink too much my brain was not telling my body to stop you're going to the edge i saw myself going to the, it's like i was trying to catch my balance so it was like my hand started like walking to catch my balance so my, i started walking and my my eyes saw my body going to the edge of the stage but it was like my mind was not telling my body to stop walking like laying in a split or some shit so i'm walking and i see like me walk over the fucking edge of the stage y'all i hear like a cartwheel front flip back flip off that shit boom my leg hit the table it was like because y'all know how we like tables and chairs around the stage boom my leg hit the table and y'all I, I like but let me tell y'all it didn't even happen fast like it happened in slow motion like in my head it was like, mm -hmm. 
So when I get to the ground, y'all, and it's crazy because I landed in a split after my leg hit the table. My leg was fucked up the next day. Let me tell y'all, I had a bruise on my leg, but that night I ain't feel it. So boom, I landed to a split. And so in my mind, I said, bitch, you can't be embarrassed. Hop back on that stage and like nothing happened. <laughs> after the whole club, after the whole club just seen me. Now, hold on, let me pause and go back. So the man was an asshole. So he really ain't fucked me. So y'all, the security guard had put me on like some big ballers in the corner. So they was like some big dudes. So you know, big dudes like little bitty women. So I knew they were gonna say, yeah. So I went over there, boom. They was like, yeah, come on my home for a birthday. We finna pay you. So I get the dance and they get to throwing the money. Y'all, so this girl, we ain't gonna say her name because we ain't gonna put it out there like that. But anyways, this girl who kind of known in that club, um, this girl who's kind of known in that club, she, um, I seen her, I seen her, but then the DJ kept saying, Galaxy, come to the stage. A galaxy come to the stage now mind i'm ignoring him because usually when they get to call you and you're doing a dance you're just gonna be like i'm working you know boom so he get to looking at me like galaxy get on stage come say mind you know you don't even fuck with me you don't even be want me to get on stage so why do you keep calling my name to get on stage like y'all it was it was another incident with me getting on stage with another girl because another girl asked me, because I get money when I get on stage. Another girl asked me to get on stage with her and he literally like cut off the music. Like, what are you doing? I didn't call you. Get your ass off the stage. Like, rude as fuck. So the girl like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, what's the deal? So anyways, like, never call me to get on stage at all. When I do get on stage with somebody, it's an issue. He didn't call me. So now you just keep calling my, my motherfucking name to get on stage. Like, okay, so I'm just like, so I tell the man, like, okay, I'm sorry, hold on, like, um, do you mind, um, because he keep calling me to get on stage, let me just get on stage for a minute. So he's like, okay, cool, go ahead. Boom. I should have just okay, ignored him. I should have ignored him and just been like, like you, like, I'm not getting on the stage. But anyways, I did it. I got on the stage. So I left my money pal there just so nobody else would go over there and try to take my spot as long as my money was there, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm on stage, like, and then the girl came up and was like, I'm cleaning up your money. Uh, No, she was like, I got the, the man. Like, y'all know how they got the bucket people, the, the cleaners, the money sweepers. I got this uh, the money sweeper to uh, clean up your money because I'm going to dance for him. So I'm looking like, what the fuck? Like, I kind of lost my fucking dance. So I'm just like, okay, fuck it. Well, bitch, you need to turn up on the stage. Fuck it. Okay, boom, went to get my money back. Boom, boom. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to turn up on the stage. So... I'm already kind of like, you know, I heard I missed my fucking dance. I mean, I had some money, but it was just like, they had so much more money to get. So, it was just like, fuck it. So, I'm just going to say boom, boom. So, anyways, you know, I kind of already kind of like, fucked up about that. So, anyway, I'm on the stage. So, boom. Yeah, so I'm just like, boom. Once I hit the ground, I'm like, fuck it, bitch. Like, dad, like, ain't nobody see that shit, even though at a whole club scene. Like, I literally saw the nigga I was dancing for, the nigga that was in front of me, like, the immediate people right there. Like, I saw them be like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I did. Y'all, I literally said, blue, dude, dude, like, y'all been on stage just start dancing. Like, it was nothing. And I had to be drunk because, like, me on the inside, like, I'm so sensitive. Like, I'd have been like, fuck no, I'm ready to go home. But, y'all. I was just like, yeah, okay, fuck it. So, boom. So, I gotta say, I kept dancing, y'all. I kept dancing. But when I hit the ground, the fucking DJ was like, I bet her dumb ass won't do that shit no more. So, of course, I'm like, I'm not finna let him embarrass me. So, I'm like, fuck it, bitch, get up back on stage. Like, you ain't see it. So, bitch, I got back on stage. So, that nigga looking like that bitch dead ass nigga back on stage. And I dead ass am. Like, cause you think you be fucking with the wrong one. Like, bitch. And I got back on stage and continued to make more money. Like, Got back on stage. Now, mind you, now, I did not feel my leg. I did not feel, feel me fly off the stage and hit the table in the chair. I did not feel that shit. The next day, I did. I did see the bruises, and I did feel that shit. But that night, I continued to make my money. So, with all being said, the lessons that I learned here was, do not know your limit. Now, your club limit, when you out partying and dancing at the club, is a different limit from where you're working because especially if you're an acrobat in the fucking you know stripper scene 
if you actually do if you're not that one leg shaker twerker bitch don't drink too much because you could hurt yourself for real like you could hurt yourself embarrass yourself you know make yourself like a drunk to the club owners which nobody said that to me like because i'm never like drunk so nobody said that to me they just probably like damn that bitch fucked up anyways but i don't even know if they seen it because i hopped back up so fucking fast the only people that seen it that was who was actually looking at the stage and seen it that, that was it and that was right there because you know around that time like you know it's dancing going sections going on so a lot of people didn't see it but the people who seen it seen it so you know the, a lesson was you know do not know your limits do not get too cute when you're dancing and another thing is if you do fuck up on stage like if you trip fall fuck up your hair might mess up because my wig flew off on stage one time before too and I literally went to the back. Um, and it was because I cut my lace too short. So, it didn't have that much to grip on, too. Um, and I was spinning. Y'all, I was fucking this shit. I was spinning around the pole. And she said, Phew. y'all, there's a whole nother story. But I grabbed the wig, went to the back. I clipped, clipped that hole into the hair. Spray, tied that hole down, blow dry. Got back out there. And I finished up my motherfucking dance. You hear me? I just didn't do so much. But I finished up that. Put that wig back on and finished up that dance. So, what I would say is continue to do what you're doing. Do not let anything... Um, You might be a little embarrassed. But you're going to be more embarrassed if you quit and run away. Just get back up there and finish what you was doing. And continue. Y'all, it's just limits. The lady walking by to go get her keys from the bus. And she was staring at me. So, so, so I was like... But anyways, but continue to do what you're doing you know what i'm saying like get back up there and finish it out and finish it out hard like hard like nothing ever happened continue to make your money because they're gonna respect and fuck with you more the fact that you got up there and continue that shit okay so that's all i had to say y'all that was a story time don't do that y'all don't do that but if it does ever happen to you like a little oopsies Y'all continue that shit. I swear to God, they gonna fuck with you because it was like, damn, this bitch is really a trooper. She really in that bitch trapping. Fuck that shit. She got right back up there. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna respect you. You gonna continue. You gonna get your money. So for sure, for sure. That was my story time for today. Stripper story time. Whatever. Y'all, if y'all in another city, cause I do wanna travel. And like, probably then, like, I'm gonna go to Miami soon. And my homegirl used to go to school in Atlanta. Was like, bitch. She was like, come to my club and dance that night when you get here so we might me and my best friend might just do that y'all anyways yeah just let me know hit me up all right bye y'all